forced participation in religious activities to be classified as child abuse in Japan. Here's a summary of the article. Tokyo. New Health Ministry guidelines in Japan will classify as abuse any acts by members of religious groups who threaten or force their children to participate in religious activities, or that hinder a child's career path based on religious doctrine. According to unnamed sources cited by Japanese daily Yomiuri Shimbun, the Health, Labor and Welfare Ministry is preparing its first draft of guidelines to help local governments deal with issues of child abuse that have emerged in connection with religious groups such as the Unification Church, officially known as the Family Federation for World Peace and Unification. According to the sources, the envisaged guidelines will be in a question and answer format and will specify what faith based acts against children fall under the categories of abuse as stipulated in the Child Abuse Prevention Law. Inciting fear by telling children they will go to hell if they do not participate in religious activities, or preventing them from making decisions about their career path, is regarded as psychological abuse and neglect in the guidelines. When taking action, the guidelines will urge child consultation centers and local governments to pay particular attention to the possibility that children may be unable to recognize the damage caused by abuse after being influenced by doctrine based thinking and values. There are concerns that giving advice to parents may cause the abuse to escalate and bring increased pressure from religious groups on the families. Guidelines already exist for child consultation centers on how to respond to abuse, but this will be the first time that they are devised specifically for children of religious followers. This post received a score of 15,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Did anyone read the article? This law does not prohibit parents making their children go to church on Sunday. The law stipulates four types of abuse, physical, sexual, neglect and psychological. Inciting fear by telling children they will go to hell if they do not participate in religious activities, or preventing them from making decisions about their career path, is regarded as psychological abuse and neglect in the guidelines. Other acts that will constitute neglect include not having the financial resources to provide adequate food or housing for children as a result of making large donations, or blocking their interaction with friends due to a difference in religious beliefs and thereby undermining their social skills. I'm seriously wondering if Abe's death has to do with this bill. Maybe I'm getting mixed up. Abe got turned into a verb. Yeah that happens a lot in Japanese. Thank you Japan for some common fucking sense. This is the way. Indoctrination of their kids is pretty much how religion is carried on. Yup. Imagine just letting kids be and think of their own ideas about spirituality and shit. From the parents that should let their kids be kids. No, our kids are fine, because they have God. Meanwhile, in Texas public schools have to display the Ten Commandments in classrooms. Thou shalt not kill, unless employed by our government in executions or law enforcement. Also, if you legally carry a firearm and someone does something you deem criminal. In those cases, you are doing the Lord's work by killing religious folk. Good. This is a law that should be adopted in every single country. Almost as though organized religion wouldn't exist without coercion. Of the young. Lol can you imagine hearing that shit for the first time as an educated grown ass adult? It happens. I know two people that found God as adults. Do you want to know what they had in common? They were both incredibly vulnerable and needed something to hold on to. One had just lost her son, and the other had just been dumped by my mom. My father found a cult, while the other found a community that wanted to help people. I'm not excusing religion in any way. I think it's a blight that we'd be better off without. But the woman who had lost her son found purpose in helping people, and I can't fault that. My dad found religion during his midlife crisis. Went full born again Christian and almost went full nuts over it if not for the fact that my sister and I put our foot down about his behavior. He's more than welcome to believe but we didn't need to be converted, and if he didn't stop he'd lose the both of us. He decided to stop, but still can't help getting jokes in about it from time to time. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.